skip where you actually can continue to air slide without losing height as long as you air slide and then swing at the right time, air slide, swing, etc., etc., over and over and actually uh, skip a forced fight in this area. Yeah, so normally you can't um, reach the top of this mountain without doing at least one fight, but by jumping over um, a fight trigger here, just uh, a basic accessory that increases his magic set. I also put on the treasure magnet ability, which is like a draw. Uh, the little orbs that enemies drop will be drawn into him more. Which can be useful because they're, you know, magic or money or something. Now you can see that, like, you you can actually slide down hills in this game. And it's actually fairly fast. Like, it's, it's probably not faster than just, like, air sliding. But because you also have to descend, it kind of works out in the advantage. And then you can run up certain walls and run alongside them as long as they're kind of head skip where you actually can continue to air slide without losing height as long as you air slide and then swing at the right time air slide swing etc etc over and over and actually uh, skip a forced fight in this area yeah so normally you can't um reach the top of this mountain without doing at least one fight but by jumping over um a fight trigger here attraction flow one that you actually only see twice throughout the entire course of the run uh and it's pretty powerful actually so they're gonna be able to finish off the boss in this oh crispy got really lucky he got donald meteor donald meteor let's let him uh, skip using mountain coaster whoa that's neat that actually caught up a lot of time <laughs> yeah that was pretty awesome so nintendo's still holding that lead but not by nearly as much now Gonna be moving on. Picking up another chest first, of course. Oh, trying to pick up another chest. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so the situation commands are on the same button as the chest opening, and you can use them outside of combat, which leads to that a lot. <laughs> Hate to see it though. That let Crispy catch up quite a bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> now the reason I was getting into. Uh, shot locks is that yeah uh, we're not, not gonna see that again <laughs> but uh, yeah Nintendo's doing something a little weird here with his with his gummy ship what's going on yeah he's building a, a better ship clearly this is much better a much better design <laughs> you put on basically you know two engines to go fast your engines do matter in this game unlike cage 2 or even cage 1 really uh, double the double the engines means more more one of the neat things about Arrow, though, is that there are actually some of these larger dandelion-type uh, enemies that have an armor effect. Uh, you can see one on the right side of the screen there. Uh, that armor, normally you've got to fight all the way through the armor before you can actually hurt the, the enemy, but Arrow will just dispel that armor immediately, which makes it really good, on top of already just being a pretty good AoE effect in a fight like this. But, oh man, <laughs> this fight has definitely not gone Nintendo's way. Yeah. Give them, right? Yeah, I think only the last one is actually needed. There's actually, right. like, an invisible wall blocking your progress mm. if you don't do it. Which, yeah, uh, Nintendo will get to that in just it's a second. Ooh, wow, really nice air step. Yeah, because you went for the air step and then getting killed <laughs> by the full motion afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> I think Classic. it was still, like, really worth it, though, even with the... Yeah getting trolled because like he went very far with that one it can yeah. straight up whiff on you it's it's very inconsistent in this fight but props for going for it mm -hmm. they got one real good usage out of it so that was cool yeah unfortunately now he's out of ethers so he has to wait for his mp to recharge almost back there that bar in the bottom right of your of the uh, screen there you can see it went all the way back to blue and there we go, finishes it off with the format that you're seeing Nintendo use. It should be pretty reliable, hopefully. It's, yeah, it's pretty reliable. Ooh, Ooh except he fell. Okay. That, yeah, that still looked pretty good, and there we go. <laughs> Just take out the entire boss with one link. So that, yep, yeah, he, he, he set up his chain to, 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 to deal some extra damage there uh, by building two towers with it, and then um, just... Wrecked it. Yeah, and it even has a useful form change that we'll be seeing a bit later. But let's take a look at Crispy's screen, see if he's able to match here with the uh, Wreck-It Ralph usage. 
Again, stacking up two towers, waiting for the boss to kind of come in close. Yeah, this boss will always sort of charge in head first like this. And okay. just like that, yeah. That almost even looked like the damage applied faster. Like, yeah, he got yeah. Um, you don't you don't want to take these lightly. <laughs> you take more damage on these rails than like anywhere else in the game. Right. You're, uh, particularly bad at them. Like, I am. Um, <laughs> I've had a PV that died to that rail section. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you you, you do want to you don't you don't want those enemies just do whatever they want. You want to want to be focused on. Just be working on taking out these fire enemies. They kind of spread out on him, so looks like maybe Splash Run didn't really work out. Maybe just trying to avoid using it at all. Mint in there just bought, stocked up on some ethers and tents. Um, and now he's switching back to Ever After. He stored that transformation from earlier. Um, so Ever so Mer Pretty soon. Meanwhile, Ninten has made it to Arendelle. Arendelle, or whatever. Frozen oh. World. <laughs> Ice Corona. Yeah, Ice Corona. Do you think the heartless so the cool thing heart? about Arendelle is that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, God, I didn't realize what I did. <laughs> the, the cool thing. They just sort of do their own thing. Alright, Crispy's gonna be hoping not to see a DM here. I think that was only the first howl, I'm not sure. This could be good. There, there it is! It. Got it. Wow! So that was awesome. Yeah, Crispy's saving a lot of time there. That's gonna help close that gap. Still, uh, work on making his way towards first place. Gonna take a few more kind of time saves like that, but actually, I mean, only uh, the first usage of Ariel, um, the next link that we picked up yeah. back in uh, the Caribbean. Yeah, so Ariel works. Um, you and Ariel will dive under water, quote unquote, uh, and when you press circle at the right time, you jump up and you can start raining down these water bowls, oh, so which much. just shred. It's it's <laughs> like. It's like a Gatling gun. It's, it's, it's so unreal. much damage. It, it's, again, another one of those where it seems to work best on really low base You know, the usual. Crispy had a uh, good overall section through that trial, by the way. Nice. So Nintendo's going to rescue all the members of Big Hero 6. I know. Um... Again, using using air steps to get where he needs to go. Yeah, and then here you actually specifically have to use the uh, flow motion. Magic boost there. You picked one up earlier as well. Crispy opting to just tank the hit from that charge from the uh, the boss. I'm gonna call that intentional. Can you hear me? Look a little better. <laughs> Not gonna slow down. And just waiting. absolutely shredding. Yeah. This link is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. And then he's gonna go prep for that scripted finish to the boss. Yeah. Oh, first gonna take a selfie over here. Oh dear. Ooh, I don't think that Faraz actually landed, which is Not a lot quite. of damage to miss out on. Yeah, he's getting a little a little bullied. A little bullied by by uh, David Jones here. Oh no! And yeah, wow, there's the kraken. Luckily, I uh, like kind of luckily, not Davy Jones wasn't as low on health. Yeah, he won't do this twice. I like how we could hear the the noise of the camera from Nintendo's <laughs> Nintendo's controller. <laughs> this one. Yeah, now finishing off Sykes in his more like powered up phase. Ether and stuff like that. So runners are actually having to keep track of a lot more than just like, oh, hold the shortcut menu and press press my fire button. Even though that is often what it kind of like feels like a little bit at the end. There we go. Able to take out Sykes. Nintendo. 
I just like we totally just glossed over the uh yeah you, <laughs> the, you... the multi nort my bad <laughs> at 8 p.m eastern and then immediately following that like the next day on wednesday will be Cuso grande which they've been they've been doing a gdq little invitational thing on hotfix and uh that'll be happening i think that one's at 7 p.m eastern um but yeah that's that's pretty much it registration for uh sgdq wave one is going to open on the 28th at 6 p.m pacific uh, be sure to check out gamesdonequick.com for more details on that. 